Wow, I am finally sitting to film this video. Hi, Wear Fam. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be all about lots of new makeup that I have gotten my hands on, especially through the trip that I've been on. If you have enjoyed all the vlogs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're new to this channel, hi, hello, my name is Anam. I go by Anam C on the internet and I create vlogs as well as a whole lot of beauty content over here as well as on my Instagram. I do not usually sound like this, but I'm currently dealing with the most itchy throat situation ever TMI and a lot of cough I have my hot honey infused water sitting over here right next to me I'm not going to be over chatty in this video says this woman who loves to be chatty normally but I am gonna dive into so many detailed reviews and first impressions on the makeup that we're going to be discovering together today let's not make this intro any longer for a change and let's dive right into it <laughs> Now, even though it looks like I'm starting out fully clean slate, I am already moisturized. I applied my moisturizer quite a while ago, actually. I am going to go ahead and start out with the primer. The primer I'm really loving right now is a different one, but since we're doing new makeup today, I'm really looking forward to trying the e.l.f. Liquid Putty Primer. I'm sure you already know by now the e.l.f. Putty Primer, which comes in like a cake form, is really, really famous. It completely went viral on the internet and has been sold out over and over. They now have a liquid version of it, which is obviously meant more for people with dry skin like me wow this has gone on like butter super 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 smooth even smoother than the cake version dare I say. I had the amazing opportunity of going and meeting the ELF team in LA when I was there a couple of months ago and it was so great because they were such nice people. I got to really explore their office and uh, I got to take back so much PR. Oh my god. If you have not seen my PR unboxing video, please make sure to catch that because it's a whole lot of PR that I received all through the trip from brands like Slip, ELF, Benefit. Just really so many fantastic products to explore from. Okay, so first impressions went on super, super smoothly. I can see some pore minimizing happening, although I have to admit I am someone who does not suffer from like big pores. So I'm not the right person to give that particular check mark when it comes to the primer level of things. After makeup, I feel like I have a better sense of what sits, what gives an airbrushed finish, what really makes your skin look smooth. But at the skin level itself, that's not a problem that I currently am facing. Maybe with time, I don't know. Sometimes skin can be really crazy. I typically do have very very dry skin but a couple of weeks in the middle I did experience a little bit of oiliness as well while traveling. I like that it doesn't really feel like tacky but it still feels like there's some amount of hold. If you've tried the Milk Hydro Grip Primer I think that that's a really nice primer but it's a little too tacky for my liking. This is more up my speed where it's just a touch of that little grip that little feeling but not sticky at all okay I bought a lot of new foundations on this trip and I was really confused about which one to pull out for this video I have recently posted a house labs first impressions and all day wear test short so if you haven't seen that again I will leave a link into that below today I think we should be going ahead and trying the Laura Mercier flawless Lumiere radiance perfecting foundation this is a brand that I really do love because I think that they do luxury beauty so wonderfully and don't get me wrong I'm all about the balance between drugstore and luxury but there are certain products in luxury that just they just hit your sweet spot if you know what I mean like whether it's the packaging whether it's the way the product feels and not just the first time you try it on but consistently so uh, which is very important because sometimes formulas can dry out in their packaging and things like that so this is a product that I'm really kicked about trying okay honest first impressions this is medium coverage went on really really easily but when I first opened the bottle and went to take product on my palm there was a little bit of oil coming out so make sure you thoroughly shake it before every use this is the first First time I'm ever reaching for it so just gonna give that little benefit of doubt over there that maybe it was because it's the first time I think that it has set into a more natural skin finish to matte zone I wouldn't fully call it dewy but I also wouldn't fully fully call it matte of course I am someone that prefers a matte finish because I feel like they're more conducive to the Indian weather I love dewy skin finish things to look at but I think that the minute you step outside your house you start sweating very easily with those so I steer clear from them just for the practical you know side of things 
I think that this went on really, really beautifully. I'm happy with the shade match. If you did watch my Sephora haul, you know that there was a little bit of a back and forth when it came to my shade selections with the foundations that I was buying in San Francisco. And I'm kind of glad that this is matching me really nicely. There's a little touch more of yellow that I'm seeing in person that I don't think is fully reflecting on camera, which is probably a good thing. But I want to see how it settles through the day as well. So be sure to check the pinned comment for a little bit of a wear test update as to how this foundation performed through the end of the day as well. I think it'll be interesting to consider that. But all in all, I like it. Feels very lightweight. I have to say, it feels very, very lightweight. Like, I can't feel like I'm wearing any product. There are some fantastic foundations out there that look great, but you can feel like you're wearing product. And that's a little bit of a red flag to me simply because I don't want to feel like that all day long and get used to it potentially even. I just like the idea of wearing really lightweight products. If you are an absolute full coverage girly you're really gonna have to build this up because I did go into a few areas over and over and I'm still only seeing medium coverage there which I personally don't mind but if you are looking for full coverage absolutely then that's a disclaimer you should keep a year out for. Okay we're done with the base and we're going to observe it through the day and all of that and I know it's time for concealer but all I really want to do is put something on my lips because I can feel how absolutely dry they are. I am testing out this one product that I cannot talk about because it's not even from my brand it's actually well it's it's from another brand and I'm testing it out and I would love to talk about that in the time to come but just not yet so for now we're going to try out this all new squeeze me lip balm from elf I got this in PR from them again if you've seen the PR video you probably already knew that what variant is this this is the variant honey dew sounds nice lots of honey happening in my life with the honey infused water and now this Smells like candy. Yeah, I want to say it just smells like candy. Smells nice. Uh, let's see how my lips feel by the time it's time to actually apply the lipstick. And now let's go in for concealer. Now again, I have got my hands on so many new concealers. You know, if you've watched the hauls and everything. But I haven't gotten great sleep last night. I actually haven't been getting great sleep over the last couple of nights. And this is a concealer that I have heard so much about. It is Tati Westbrook approved. In fact, I bought it because of her recommendation. I'm talking about the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. This is supposed to be completely crease-free and I got it in the shade P4. They had four different categories to choose your exact shade from. They had yellow, neutrals, pinky and peachy undertones to choose from. I opted for a peachy one because I feel like when you take a little bit of peachy one, if you have slightly grey under eyes, brown skin problems like me, you can actually skip the corrector step a little bit. Otherwise, you do have to go in with corrector and concealer separately just gonna put that out there that you might want to consider the peachy maybe the yellowy depending on where you are in your under eye situation i am not gonna put too much just gonna put it on the front part to be honest because that's what i've been doing off late this is a formula that is so hyped in my head because i watch a lot of tati westbrook content and whoops apparently you don't even really need to set it you can just kind of let it be with my grey under eyes and my lines. Let's see how it does for me. That was really too easy and too quick. Not bad at all for a single layer and like that to a very light layer. I only went on the inside. I'm curious to build it up but I'm also curious to see whether this really is fully crease free by not setting it which seems like a little bit of a dangerous question mark to me because I do have a lot more to film through the day and I don't want my under eyes creasing and then I me looking crazy in the rest of my videos and then I don't want you to be like how is she a beauty youtuber or how does she have her own beauty brand when she has crazy under eyes but I also want to test it out oh man I really appreciate you keeping up with my nasal voice today as I'm speaking I'm like oh man should I have waited for another week to film this video and resume filming sit down videos I don't know okay I'm not gonna go in with a heavy hand but I do think I need just a touch more of it on both sides this has blended really 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 easily I haven't tried anything else from Natasha Denona to my memory serving me right now so this if I like it and it does well gets me excited to explore this new brand I'm one of those people that if I've tried a brand for the first time and if I like really like that first product then I will dive even deeper into more products from that brand I think we all are like that no can't be just me leave a comment down below and say just you or we're all like that <laughs> my confused brain is wondering whether we should leave it without setting it down or whether we should just set it down. Let's take a call in about five minutes once I go to other parts of the face. I think I'll get a good idea on whether it creases by then or not because that is typically how 
my under eyes are. It's really normal to have lines on your under eyes and it's very normal for that makeup to get collected in those lines. That's why I always say start with minimal product. You think that you need more coverage so you will put so much more product. No actually, it's the opposite that can really really do the trick. Okay, let's move to brows next while we let this set and be. And when it came to brows, you guys know I'm a complete complete benefit girl. I swear by their brow pomade. Browsings is a product I love so much. They have so many new launches that I'm really excited to explore. But I thought that for a change, I would move away from Benefit just for now and check out this e.l.f. brow gel. Now, this is a lock-on liner and brow cream in the shade Espresso. And basis, the name, obviously, I think it's a two-in-one where you can use it as liner as well as go into your brows. I wanted to go in with a lighter shade originally because for some reason I thought that that would help bring out the color of my lenses because you know I wear hazel lenses. This is not my original eye color. But then I changed my mind and decided to go in with an espresso. This seems a lot closer to the color of my natural hair and I just think it might sit better. Let's find out. Using brush number seven from Verified, our brushes are one of my favorite, favorite product categories. We get so much love on them because they really make your makeup application process so much smoother. We do have an offer going on on the complete set of brushes. I'm going to leave in that information for you on the screen right now. Like I normally would, starting out with just pulling everything up with the help of the spoolie on the back of the brush and outward and then going in with a very light hand. Wow, that is pigmented. That is pigmented. That is really, really nicely pigmented. Wait, I need a mirror to be like much closer to my face right now. Okay, I just did both my brows and I immediately looked at myself in the screen and I said, my brows do not match. That's a separate story altogether. I have one slightly higher and one not as high brow. That's just the natural shape of them. That is not me making an expression or doing something, but they're too dark. They're too, too dark. So in the Benefit Brow Pomade, I typically wear a shade 4.5. This is the shade Espresso. I guess my learning is to take a lot less of this and keep blending rather than adding more because this is just really, really dark. Is it looking bad? Maybe not. Maybe if I opted for more natural eyeshadow, then I guess it could work. But typically, I would like for them to be leaning more brown than black. And even though this is a brown, albeit a dark brown, it is leaning too much of black over here. So I feel like there's a little takeaway over there for you from me with this product. When it comes to the under eyes, because I've taken a call in the middle, I've had my water infused with honey over here, reheated. Um, I can see a couple of lines over here. So I wouldn't call this completely crease free, but I have to say, and I'm, I don't know how to show this to you like super. I'm going to try and zoom this in in the edit where you can see the lines. The fact that you can only see like two lines on the under eyes is marvelous. Like when I say marvelous, I mean marvelous because for someone like me who has deep set eyes, has dark circles, has lines on the under eyes, two lines on the under eyes seems like a big, big, big win. Really a big, big, big win because that's like nothing. What I am going to do is I'm going to try and take, okay, so since we're doing a lot of new makeup today, I'm not going to take my typical verified IRL Paris filter. Instead, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier loose powder. This is just so that I'm using a new product. This is a product, although I have tried before, and I think it's a really, really great product. It does not blur. So I'm just going to put that out there, but it sets really beautifully. So I would want to mention that. I am just going to go ahead and put this in here. Now, even though this powder is translucent, it has a little bit of not like yellow in it, but it does have some kind of pigment in it. Um, one of the things I like to do is that I like to mix this in with the IRL Paris filter from Verified, the loose one, or even the compact one if you want to layer it one after the other because then a little bit of pigment from this and the blurring smooth setting finish of that. To me, that is a dream combination. A lot of you guys have reached out to me over the past year or so saying, do this in more shades, add more shades into your Paris filter airbrush powder collection. It is very much on our minds. It is very much on our radar. As a small brand, the thing is we have to do things in baby steps. So baby steps, I guess it is. Um, I'm going to let that excess powder just sit there for some time. 
because it will just bake in a way. Should we do eyes next? I have literally zero palettes that I purchased on this trip. The reason I purchased zero palettes is because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I'm literally just sitting on over here at home. If you have any eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow based content ideas, please let me know down below because I'm in a little bit of a brain fart situation when it comes to that. I'm not able to think of anything that has not already been done. I want to do something that's different or I want my take on it and I've really truly been racking my head on it quite a bit. Tried a new hairstyle today. Don't know whether or not it's working. Everything today is new new. Even nails are new. I just got them done two days ago. I did a marble nude pink you know kind of zone. Very unlike me because otherwise usually I'm such a nudie patootie kind of a girl but tried something different and because it's still in the nude zone I'm comfortable with it otherwise I wouldn't be. Um, so yeah if you have any eyeshadow palette related content ideas please tell me down below. Um, this Morphe palette it is the Make in Bank palette. I actually got in PR from Morphe and uh, I just haven't gotten around to using it. This is available on Nykaa here in India. There's a lot of shorts that you're seeing or will be seeing that are review based um, snippet style because I want to be able to use and give you more product information. I'm always going back and forth in my head on doing that and almost kind of feeling like but I'm not fully using the product so it's gonna go waste but I need to keep telling myself it's your job you just have to do it. These are my internal struggles that I'm vocalizing to you over here today completely unnecessary but i'm doing it nevertheless um we've got this lovely looking palette over here so many colors to choose from now because my you can see my table um and me there's another me out there because the brows have turned out quite dark i think it only makes sense to go in and a little bit of fallout so don't go in my water. Keeping the eyes minimal. Losing my trail of thought just a tad bit. Morphe palettes have a very like standard experience almost. Some fallout. I don't like to villainize fallout so that's not necessarily a bad thing. That can actually be a sign of the product being pressed and they're super super finely milled so it is what it is. And good pigmentation. I like that combination quite a bit. Given myself that very natural wash and now I'm just going to take maybe a little bit of a shimmery finish. This one looks interesting. It looks greenish goldish using only verified brushes once again. And I'm going to go in. Yes. Oh my God. It's a green with gold. It looks beautiful. I need to do glitter more often on my eyes like these colors more often on my eyes. I realize I'm such a newbie that I don't experiment enough and I like to experiment. That reflect is gorgeous. I hope it's picking up on camera the same way. But I love it. I love, love, love it. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back into my first brush and go into a slightly darker shade. Mm, here I was leaving things natural, I thought. Okay, since this has a little bit of green in it, I'm going to go into this really like beautiful olive green. And I hope that this works out. Just gonna give it a little definition on the outside. Oh my god, I love that. I really, really, really like that. I'm gonna leave the lower lash completely bare because I feel like there's so much happening on the lid already. Let's move on to other parts of the face and then come back to the eyes where we can then wipe off the excess powder, do the mascara and all of that. For the face, I actually don't have any new contours or bronzers, but I feel like this only makes sense. We launched our very own bronzers and contours at Wearified and we have two shades. We have a bronzer shade which is called Ginger Tea and, and a contour shade which is called Black Coffee. Today, let's go ahead and use Ginger Tea. This is one of those shades that is perfect for light to medium skin tones. Um, I really like black coffee on me as well. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. That's a little bit more leaning cool. This is a little bit more neutral. What I love about these formulas, in case you missed the launch video, is that we have taken the learnings from our star product, the airbrush powder. We've taken that technology of airbrush and infused it into these pigments. So the way it gets applied, it will mattify. It will go ahead and just very, very beautifully airbrush that part of your face. Of course, you can complement it with going ahead and using our airbrush powders or use them all over your face as well. Our new blushes have that as well. It's just really, really nice to add dimension and they're very, very buildable. So if you want to leave it subtle and natural, you can stop it there. 
and then at the same time if you just want to play it up you can do that too i love 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 these formulas this could be a biased opinion because it is my brand so i'm going to go ahead and say that myself but because it is my brand i also have the control and ability to only launch products that i love and um obviously because i formulate them myself i had new product development myself it makes a big difference in the way i visualize products and how i want them to come alive so this is a launch that has been really really special we launched it just a couple of months ago and i hope that you guys will try it because it is truly such a special one our goal of course is to make makeup for everyone but when we're able to do these slightly more pro makeup products like bronzers and contours and make them easy for use for every day or for people who may not otherwise know makeup the same way that i do let's say um that feels like a big win because then i'm making your beauty routines easier and simpler to get around i'm not going to overdo this i'm just going to stop this here cuz i feel like the eyes should really truly be the hero of whatever this look is turning out to be for the blush i have an option so on one hand i have the benefit peachin which is technically not a new product i think but i haven't used it um and then we have the halo glow beauty wand from elf again one of those extremely viral tiktok products and just taken the world by storm really with this entire range i think what would be interesting to do is apply this and then maybe layer it up with this to set it down okay so i'm going to apply this on my hand and then go on to my face this is the learning i've had while using the charlotte tilbury version of the same product because i felt like when i went in directly on my face it was too much and then i had to blend it out on full speed so just to be on the safe side we're taking a little bit of this kind of looks wet can you see it looks like dewy dewy as hell but like with a wet finish i'm not seeing as much of the pink as i would like though so kind of making me feel like it's a highlighter instead of a blush wait did i pick up a highlighter instead of a blush i should check the packaging again no it says blush the shade i'm wearing is rose you slay i don't mind that it has this dewy wet finish because it is cream based so i wasn't expecting for it to be matte anyway but i really would have liked more pigment does it look beautiful yes it does it absolutely does we're going to match this on the other side and then i'm also going to try and play it up a little bit because you never know maybe the pigment might show up with a little bit more build up again thank you for putting up with my voice i missed playing with makeup and i didn't want to postpone it just because of my voice it dries up on your hand really quickly so i am going to go ahead and take a little bit more i think that this is the kind of formula you can just go in on your face with because the way it's coming out of the sponge is definitely looking different from the way the charlotte one was i really like it i think that it's beaming it's wet it's like a highlighter within the blush but i'm not seeing enough pigment so i would say that if you are one of those extreme natural girlies that likes you know a tint and not a foundation barely needs to apply concealer has that kind of an aesthetic then i think you will really really like this i do really really like this from the formulation standpoint but because the pigment is missing i'm glad i decided to go in and layer it up with the other blush as well because then that will give me a little bit more color on my cheeks rather than just the shine and just the highlighter vibes going to wipe this off you need very little product huh which is a nice thing taking brush number 3 from wireified and opening out a mini of the peachin blush okay this is what the shade looks like it's that proper beautiful very english peach there is fallout there's quite a bit of fallout but like i said i think we need to not villainize fallout let's decide that once we apply whether it's worth it or not oh it complements this elf product so beautifully they're like layering up with each other so nicely the shine on the screen is quite a bit i really need to mattify at least a part of it with this blush because i don't want to be shining like a disco ball i have more videos to film today and i don't think that's realistic either that only looks good on instagram kind of better i guess still really really be me okay we've managed to mattify it a little bit we still have a lot of shine which again maybe i should have taken less product maybe i need to get used to it so there's a disclaimer there for you in that but i do love the way peachin has gone on and added pigment my problem initially was just with the wetness but the minute you have some pigment in there it looks really nice and well put together 
Um, let's go ahead and take off the excess Laura Mercier sitting on my under eyes all this time. Laura and Verified are the only two products I could just leave there for this long. Other products might stain or leave a shadow, really. I don't have any new eyeliners. I do have a Kajal that I had kept on standby. This is from Pixie. Again, it's not a new launch. Um, and I have used this before, but it's just a new product. But I realized that a Kajal will not go with this look. But I should give you a quick second review of this Kajal. Really beautiful, very buttery. Smudges a tad bit a few hours later, but the application is worth it when I tell you that. Um, but I don't want to apply it and kind of, you know, Indianize it at all with Kajal anywhere. We're going to move on to mascara. And when I tell you I got new mascaras, I got so many new mascaras. Um, you guys may have already seen the shorts I posted about the Benefit Fan Fest, which is the newest drop. So good. So spoiler alert over there. I got the L'Oreal telescopic ones again that I'm planning to post test out and post shorts for. Maybe they're up by now. I also got so many mascaras from e.l.f. The two high-end ones that I bought, I'm sure there are more, but the ones that I have placed right here in front of me is this Hourglass Unlocked one and then the Fenty Hella Thick one. Today, let's go ahead and try this because I haven't used anything Fenty in a hot minute and the products that I have used from Fenty, I have mostly really, really liked. I've seen the craze behind this mascara online because I've seen how people have gone like absolutely crazy behind it. So the applicator doesn't really have that volume shape it has the length and dimension shape um it's kind of like a trapezium going inward yes i enjoyed geometry in school that's why trapezium was the first thing to come to mind let's see how this does in case you're wondering why i'm going in without a lash curler i feel like the best way to truly test a mascara is to go in without a lash curler that way you get to see exactly what the mascara does and not just with the help of the lash curler so there's a little snippet there for you i'm so confused that was one coat can you see the difference between the left and right wait look at this i hope i really hope it's picking up i don't get it it was one coat of course i smudged a little bit but i'll wipe that later that was one coat. How? How? Oh my god. That was too good. That was just too good. Flipping over the other side of the brush, the applicator, because I don't want to use the same side. That's how I maximize product usage. Again, making sure the same side is facing. That is insane. I don't even know what to say. It looks like I'm wearing false lashes. I don't know what to say. I, I'm, I'm blank. It is fanning them out. It has added length. It has added volume. It has even added some curl in there. And I have literally just applied one generous coat. I haven't gone back and dug into the bottle at all. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm like, looks like I'm wearing false lashes, but I'm not. And I haven't even gone into it a second time. This is all coming from one dip. I'm impressed and I'm skipping highlighter. I'm not going with highlighter. I didn't have any new highlighter anyway. I was going to use Verified. But it looks like it doesn't need it because you can see all of this shine. <laughs> Let's go in and do the lip and then we can wrap up this video. Okay, I need to first wipe out the balm and see how my lips are feeling because we said we'd do a little mini review of that as well. Of course, I think with balms and oils and stuff, you have to wear them repeatedly to really fully see. But with some balms, I feel like when you wipe them out, suddenly your lips start to feel almost like stretchy-ish or dry-ish. My lips feel hydrated. Mm, they feel nice. Yeah. I'm going ahead with the shade Light Brown for the lip liner. This is a triangle-shaped one. I don't know whether it's feeling this smooth to go on because I had the lip balm earlier, which I've wiped, but still. Or whether it's just the lip liner in itself. I don't know if it's fully picking up on camera because this light brown is truly, truly light brown i'm glad i have more shades with me but i'm not gonna break my head on them right now instead i would much rather move into the lipstick to be honest because i feel like i can't quite tell at the moment how that's so buttery so let's go with the o face satin lipstick this is also from elf this is in the shade standing ovation the packaging feels really nice and luxe it's got that soft velvet mattish finish when you kind of hold it and it has a magnetic clasp which is really nice matte black finish and you can see elf written over here on the front of the bullet right here 
Okay, so that went on really, really smoothly. It's not a matte finish, it is a satin finish. But I can see it emphasizing my lines on the lower lip. If you can see that on camera as well, I don't know. Um, but it's a beautiful shade. Does it work for me? It does. Does it pull this whole look in kind of nicely? Yes, it does. I wish it was a little bit. I wish I had something that was new, but still very nude. So I, I feel like there's a little bit of a mismatch there for sure. Because I wanted this to stay in the more nude space. But in terms of formula, went on really, really smoothly. It is satin finish, which means it will not last you through food and it will not be transfer proof and all that. But I feel like we villainize those things too much in the beauty space. If we just kind of let those things go, you can enjoy how lightweight such formulas also feel. Like there are pros and cons. And then you find those balances in the middle. Sometimes you find the sweet spot products. Sometimes you find the sweet spot products that really give you absolutely everything. This is giving me just cream nice glossy finish vibes um and i'm here for it it's quite nice is it something i would reach for and wear regularly i wouldn't i am personally someone that likes to have even if i'm wearing like a gloss or something i like to have a lipstick underneath that is matte because then i don't need to touch the lipstick up multiple times again there's nothing wrong in touching things up these are just things about personal preference with that, we come to the end of today's video. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed me testing out all of these new products across so many new categories. Let me know what else you'd like to see here on the channel and let me know what your favorite products were from everything we tried down below in the comments. I'd love to hear you sounding off on that. Thank you once again for putting up with my voice in this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!